Furious protesters have taken to the streets across the world against French President Emmanuel Macron. France's President Emmanuel Macron continues to face backlash from the Muslim community across the world. Videos have begun to surface of thousands of protesters gathering against the president in countries like Pakistan, Lebanon and Bangladesh. Many of them brandishing beaten effigies, flags and signs calling for the boycott of French goods. Thousands of people took to the streets in Pakistan earlier this week to protest the comments made by the French president. These protests were on the basis of France's perceived animosity towards the religion of Islam. These comments follow after President Macron defended the right to publish cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. Visual depictions of the Prophet have proven to be a divisive issue across the world but many who practice the religion consider it offensive. AFP highlighted a video on their Twitter of the protests across Asia. During the video, it was remarked, many Muslims see Macron's remarks as an insult, as depictions of the Prophet are widely regarded as taboo in Islam. The backlash intensified after a suspected Islamist extremist killed a French teacher who showed the cartoons in class. Anti-French rallies have also erupted in Bangladesh, Lebanon and other countries this week. After an attack on French teacher, Samuel Paty, for showing an image of Prophet Muhammad to a class earlier this month, President Macron issued a statement. Regarding ongoing threats of terrorism and attack, Mr. Macron said, if we are attacked once again it is for the values which are ours, freedom, for the possibility on our soil to believe freely and not to give in to any spirit of terror. I say it with great clarity once again today, we won't surrender anything. He also added at a ceremony at the Sorbonne University that France will never renounce caricatures, drawings, even if others back down. France's foreign ministry has also addressed the calls for a boycott of France's products. It said, these calls distort the positions defended by France in favor of freedom of conscience, freedom of expression, freedom of religion and the refusal of any call to hatred. Consequently, the calls for boycott are pointless and must cease immediately, as must all attacks against our country, instrumentalized by a radical minority. The ministers and our entire diplomatic network are fully mobilized to remind and explain to our partners France's positions, particularly with regard to fundamental freedoms and the rejection of hatred, to call on the authorities of the countries concerned to dissociate themselves from any call for a boycott or any attack against our country, to support our companies and to ensure the safety of our compatriots abroad. 